Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Cary Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina, and today is Friday, January 22nd. Today we finally have some new things to show you. It sort of feels like feast or famine, whether we have a lot of fabric or no fabric. And I know you've probably noticed in the past few days we haven't had much new to show you, but today is different. So we're going to start with today's Fat Quarter Friday bundle. This bundle was created and curated by Debbie. And it includes a lovely, come on in so you can see it closer, a lovely um, tulip pattern on the top. And then we have some polka dots, a beautiful green that's from the Crayola, Crayola Kaleidoscope collection. Say that three times fast. A lovely little stripe, one of my favorite art gallery blenders, and then a grunge. So again, this is, let's see, Debbie's calling it Tulip Fields in pink and green. This is our Fat Quarter Friday bundle. It is available now while supplies last. We only make eight of these bundles a week. So if you like what you see, be sure to pick it up either in the shop, online, or curbside as soon as you can. Next up, we have new batiks from Batik Textiles. Um, I really love Batik Textiles because I think that their designs are really very interesting. And um, they do a great job with batiks. That's all they do. So um, I tend to enjoy the batik suppliers that only do batiks because they put a lot of thought and effort into it. So this one we have is a puffins print for all you puffin lovers. This one we've had before and it was really popular. Uh, so we got another bolt. This is obviously quilt blocks. This one is a super black um, it's just a real solid deep dyed, double dyed uh, black, which is uh, great for projects that you really want the darkest black possible. This is one of the blender type batiks uh, in a pretty blue. And we also have that in a pinky red and in a olive green. So those are new batiks from Batik Textiles. We also got some new batiks in from Anthology earlier this week, and we uh, missed telling you about them. So we do have some new batiks over in the batik section. We also have some really fun new batik pre-cuts to show you. These are also by Batik Textiles. The first one is um, a two and two and a half inch strip and then a 10 inch layer. And those are um, some really fun and colorful prints there. And then we have two more over here a two and a half inch strip set and a 10 inch layer. I love how they package that so you can see all the colors there. So these are also now available in store. A lot of our Villa Rosa patterns are great patterns for using these pre-cuts. Um, they usually make up quickly. The patterns are only $2. Um, so it might be a great idea to grab a pattern, grab a pre-cut and have a great weekend sewing. Next up we have Riley Blake uh, Designs is doing a pillow project. And let me just pull in right there so you can see all the pillow projects. This is going to be a one a month project. And this is the project for April, which is um, raindrops. And so we have the pillow project kits along with pillow forms. And the nice thing about this um, pillow project is that all of the pillow, all of the pillows that you make are actually covers that are going to go around one pillow. So if you have, for example, a porch pillow, or a pillow on a sofa that you want to trade out every month, you could grab one of these Riley Blake kits every month and you'll have a different pillow front to add to your pillow form each month to switch up your decorations. So right now we have April in and each month we'll get the next month. So in February we'll get May. Um, so you do have time to make them before April rolls around. Um, so like I said, we have the pillow forms in stock. We have the kits in stock. I believe we only got 12 of these. So if you like what you see here, you want to go ahead and grab one of these right away. These also make great gifts because of the way they're packaged. And if you look in here, you'll see you have all the fabrics required. And then this is your pattern. So it's a nice little box that actually snaps closed. Um, so a box that you could use later for projects or that you could gift to somebody um, just as is. So that's what we have for you today. I want you to be sure to tune in on Sunday because Sunday is the first day of a very exciting event for us. So we will um, see you back here on Sunday and we hope you have a great weekend until then. Thanks. Bye.